Well, boys, it looks like we're playing with Arduino today. Hey, what's happening, guys? You know how Google sometimes pops up um, suggested reading for you on your uh, phone? Well, I got this thing here the other day. What to do with Arduino floating pins? Here's a, the question it says I have some unused pins. Should I connect them together to, into the ground or leave them floating? Somebody says just leave them floating. Somebody else says you should enable pull ups. Uh, somebody else says what? Set them to init pull up. Uh, instability left unused. Leave them floating. Yeah. Nobody really has a definite answer on here. Well, I mean, I don't have a definite answer as for, you know, the programming aspect of it either. But as for power usage, I figure we can do a pretty decent little experiment here and find out which uses the least amount of power. So what I've set up here is just an Uno with uh, four LEDs on it going through 270 ohm current limiting resistors. I'm going to power it with the bench power supply here, which I have set to 6.6 uh, .6 volts, which is about a volt and a half above the 5 volts. That will give the voltage regulator something to work with. And if you take a look at it here, you can see they're lit. So that is our base. Now the code I have for this is simply uh, pin mode 8 output, pin mode 9 output, pin mode 10 output, pin mode 11 output and then digital write 8 high, 9 high, 10 high, 11 high. That's it. That's the entire code. Okay. So let's disconnect this. So basically all of our unused pins are floating. And yes, that includes our um, analog pins, which are, they can work as digital too, and we're going to deal with them as well. So I'm going to hook this up through... The ammeter here. So we can read how much current is being used. We'll give it a few seconds to stabilize here. You can see our LEDs are lit. And we are seeing about 65 milliamps. might go up or down a milliamp depending on temperature but we're pretty well stabilized here and we're going to call it 65 milliamps so for my next trick I'm going to initialize all the pins no no I'm not going to initialize all the pins I'm just going to connect them to ground that's what we're going to do give me a second all right, I am not going to be real particular about our colors here. I am going to start at pin 2. We'll leave the TX and RX pins alone. Maybe that's the wrong thing to do. But for our purposes here, should be fine. I look forward to your comments telling me it will not be fine. Once again, I must express I am not an Arduino expert nor a programming expert. I am a hardware guy. That takes care of the first batch there. You don't have to watch me do the rest. Okay. All of our unused pins are now connected to ground. And before anybody goes all grammar police on me, you will notice that there are two A1s there. They are connected together. And this A1 I have left unconnected because it is connected over here. So everything is happily connected. Leave your angry comments at home. All right, so let's bring the meter back in 
Remember, we were at 65 milliampere's previously. We're all powered up there. Right, look at that. Sending them to ground saves you 5 milliamps. I know, maybe you don't think that seems uh, excessive, but 5 milliamps for running on battery power is a significant amount of power. And yes, those LEDs are on. These are very old LEDs, so they're not really bright. But yeah, we're pretty stable there at 60 milliamps. Impressive. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is alter the code to initialize all the unused pins low so they are at ground level. I'll be right back. Okay, I've rewritten the code so that now all of our unused pins, including the analog pins, are set for low or ground level. Give this a few seconds to stabilize. You can see we're already we're getting the same 60 milliamps. And yes, it is on. So no change from leaving them uninitialized to leaving them to ground. Okay, we're not going to initialize them high and then plug them into ground because that would simply create a short circuit and that is not good. Nope. Not good. Das ist nicht gut. So, next I will change all of the un or I will initialize all of the unused pins to uh, input init pull up so that they have that internal 10k resistor on them. And then we will come back and see the tail of the ammeter. All right, two more to go. This is all pins, all unused pins set for input pull up, which means they have that uh, 10K internal resistor on them and they are still connected to ground. We are lit. And look at that, it actually takes more. Okay. Let's disconnect, and for our final trick of the night, what we're going to do is disconnect all of those pins, but we are going to leave the um, input pull-up on, and we'll see what we get. This should give us a pretty good idea. What have I done wrong? Ah, I have disconnected our ground pin. We do need to have ground going back. Okay, so there we are there. It's about the same, whether they're connected or not. So, what is the answer? What should you do with your unused pins? I'd say just set them as outputs and ground them. That will get you the least amount of current usage. At least that's what our data shows today. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. We're at 74,000. Couldn't do it without each one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. A dollar a month is all I ask. And uh, 
really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here and there's a link to it down below.